Well, Republican Congressman Justin Amash breaking with party ranks, tweeting this about the Mueller report, quote, President Trump has engaged in impeachable conduct. The move sparking a mixed reaction across D.C. Listen. This is exactly what he wants. He wants to have attention. It's a question whether he's even in our Republican conference as a whole. My own view is that uh, Justin Amash has reached a different conclusion than I have. He showed more courage uh, than any other Republican in the House or Senate. But was this all just for attention? Here to debate it is Republican strategist Kimberly Klasick and former Deputy Assistant Secretary of State under Obama, Joel Rubin. Thank you both for joining us. We appreciate it. Good morning. morning. So, Kimberly, I will start with you. What do you think he's up to? What do you think? I think uh, Minority Leader Kevin McCarthy got it absolutely correct. I think Congressman Amash is looking for attention. I mean, let's be very clear. A lot of people have this Mueller investigation mixed up. The original question was, did Russia meddle in the 2016 elections? But the DNC and Hillary Clinton lost so many emails, they couldn't actually answer that question. So there was a shift. It then moved to whether or not the Trump campaign colluded with Russia. The answer to that is no. I think uh, President Obama had eight years, couldn't accomplish as much as President Trump has in two years, and people are upset, and rightfully so. He was wrongly accused, and he wanted to be exonerated quickly, as anyone else would. Joel? Well, I, the Republican reaction clearly demonstrates that Amash has struck a nerve, and he has because there's a legitimate reason. Uh, th this report demonstrated that there was a vast Russian involvement in meddling in our election. And in volume one of the two-volume report, it states that the Trump campaign engaged with Russians in different ways and never once, not once, called the FBI, not once defended the United States. And so Amash, he's looking at that. He's saying these are impeachable offenses. He says members of Congress haven't read the report, you know, I which I would agree with. Have you read and, the report? And many other things. Have you read yeah. the report? Oh, yeah. And yeah, it's definitely. Entirety, it's devastating. I, well, it's de well, the redacted version, because we don't have access to the unredacted I just, I version. I find it interesting, though, that people disagree with Barr's conclusion. They disagree with then-Deputy Attorney Rod Rosenstein, who uh, uh, helped him come to the conclusion, and then Mueller as well, who also was part of, you know, what was going to be said, although it's come out that he disagrees with the take that the um, media had on it. Kimberly, um, let's listen to this. This is what Justin Amash said about possibly running for president. Maybe this is one of his reasons. Listen. Would you be willing to run for the White House? Well, I'd never rule anything out. I think that it is important that we have someone in there who is presenting a vision for America that is different from what these two parties are presenting. Kimberly, so could that be a possible reason? Maybe he's feeling, you know, things out. Yeah, I mean, that would better explain it, honestly. I think any Republican is usually for the best interests of the American people. So if you want to be that guy on the opposite side of history, you want to be against a growing economy, you want to be against uh, unemployment record low numbers, and you want to be against uh, just everything that President, Obama, uh, Trump, sorry, President Trump is doing, including uh, actually tackling mm -hmm. the broken immigration system, you can be that guy. You can have fun on that side of history. But I think President Trump is doing a great job, and even if he wants to run for president, he's not going to beat Trump. It's not going to happen. You know, Joel, to be fair, I do want to get up sure. the tweet as to what President Trump had to say about this over the weekend, and I won't read the, the whole thing, but he begins by, begins by saying he's not a fan of Justin Amash, calls him a lightweight, uh, but then gets into, you know, if you really read the Mueller report, it was composed by 18 angry Dems who hated Trump. Uh, and then it goes on from there, but he points out no collusion, ultimately no obstruction. How do you obstruct when there is no crime? In fact, the crimes were committed by the other side. Your response, and then we have to wrap it up. Sure, Heather. Uh, the Mueller report doesn't exonerate the president, and Amash is the founder of the House Freedom Caucus. He's not uh, a flaming liberal Democrat, and this isn't about President Trump's positions on policy issues. He's looking at this report and saying it really does demonstrate that there are problems, high crimes and misdemeanors need to be investigated, <laughs> and that's where he's coming from. Well, it established no conspiracy between Trump and Russia, and it found that's that right. there, there were no findings sufficient to charge President Trump with obstruction of justice. Uh, Joel and Kimberly, thank you both for joining us this morning. Thank Thanks. you, Heather. Have a good day.